Joining us now from our Washington bureau is science reporter Sabrina Tavernisi with the story of a microbiologist with a mission to find out whether drug-resistant germs are making their way from farm animals into people. Hi, Sabrina. Hi, David. So uh, tell us, uh, who is Lance Price and how did you find him? So Lance Price is actually a microbiologist who um, is a self-described hoarder of things, um, who has a lot of things in his freezer that he analyzes. Uh, he had um, originally started in research uh, in, uh, in anthrax for biodefense and was looking at uh, the ways that um, um, uh, Cipro is uh, resisted by various uh, bioweapons, um, but that he uh, oh, he yeah, Cipro he is, that, to go uh, is that uh, powerful antibiotic that they were using during the uh, anthrax attacks, right? That's right. That's right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so he decided that he uh, wanted to um, move into an area that, was, that had a broader public health um, application. And so he was, started looking at uh, antibiotic-resistant germs, um, in particular asking the question, what share of the germs uh, that are resistant to antibiotics start um, on the farm in big uh, industrial scale farms in the United States. So uh, what is Dr. Price doing? How, what's his uh, experiment? So he uh, had his researchers go around to all the major grocery stores in Flagstaff, Arizona for a whole year and uh, I think about twice a month purchase all of the meat products and the major brands of meat in the grocery stores and they made samples of all of these um, of all of these uh, meat products uh, and now they are analyzing them and doing uh, genomics uh, sort of mapping the full gene genetic sequence of all of these different products and so the idea is to match um, the full picture of the organisms genes to um, um, uh, and th that they found in the meat to to infections in people and the infection that he's chosen is the urinary tract infection because it's very common for women uh, about eight million of them a year for American women uh, what's he finding out so we don't really know yet um, his his results uh, he has early results that are due out in the fall um, but he is uh, finding fairly high instance of um, these germs in, uh, particularly in Turkey, in the samples that they've collected. But so far we don't know yet um, what share are connected to the infections in women. So this is something that we um, will only learn later in the fall. Well, Sabrina Tavernisi, uh, Washington science reporter for the New York Times. A lot of action on the food safety front. Thanks for filling us in. Thanks a lot.